Power 1000 here. Today we're checking the stereo out. I got it pulled out of there. Um, all this wood grain stuff, it's add-on. Like this piece here, it's original, but then people would buy this stuff. And then the screws on there like that. But it's getting cracked up. It's just getting old. So I'll be I'll be doing something different with that. I do like the wood grain look on it, but you know. So uh, I did get this working. Uh, the radio works, CD player works. I got the aux plugged in. I'm gonna try the aux. Does not have Bluetooth. Uh, it's supposed it does have rear camera, so this will probably end up going in in our Chevy. I still I'm looking for a regular Corvette stereo that belongs in here. This wasn't even bolted in; it was just stuffed up in there, and then all the plastic stuff held it in. Um, let's see. This speaker over here. I don't know what size speaker's in there, but I'm going to take that cover off. And we're going to see if maybe there's dirt in there or if the speaker itself's cracked. And we'll see what size it is. So let me get you set up down here. Turn the key off. And. Yeah, let me get you set up down here to where you can see a little bit better. And we'll take that off and see what we what we find out. Alright, so I pulled the keys out and it's making a buzzing noise, so I don't know what that's all about. there for now uh, let me get you on a stand I'm not sure how this comes off of here I hope this whole piece don't come off it probably does no my luck all right let me research that and by research I mean I'm just gonna see what what I can break to get it off of there but it's got a screw missing here. This screw's loose. It's supposed to keep this from happening. But as you can see, this is where you slide in, so you would think there would, be, would have been another piece here to protect this part of it. That's why the seat gets worn right there. All right, let me see what's happening here. Okay, guys, so I'm probably gonna have to pull this whole piece up off of here. Comes up to here, not original here. I don't think look at this don't do that don't do that one over here too pop riveted <sighs> all right guys let me, I'm just gonna take these screws out and see if I can move this enough to see it's already cracked there probably from putting this in here you don't do that And then I'm going to see what I can see. Stick around. I'm just going to take out a few screws. You're not going to miss anything. All right, so I got this piece pulled off. And somebody put this. I don't know if that's original or not. I never had this off of mine. But you try working here, you're going to get the stuff all over you. There's the speakers. I think it's this one that's cracking. Uh, shit, see, my shirt was just sticking to that stuff. Let's go ahead and...
tried to adjust the equalizer to get that out of there, but no go. I think it might be this one. I don't know. Let me take these out. Let's see what we see. There could be just dirt in there rattling around. Let's find out. All right, so I unplugged this. This one's not working. And the other side is not working. And I got everything in the center, so... This one is definitely rattling. Yeah, that one's not even working. Let me look at this some more. Okay, the bridge. That one's crackling just as bad. If I hook these two up, you'll hear it crackling. Hang on a second here. All I'm doing is touching these two wires together. That's pretty bad. It's gonna need speakers. Like I said, this one will probably go in our Chevy. I'll leave it in here for now, but I figure it's gonna go in our Chevy because this is not gonna have a back backup camera. Although I, I should probably put one in here for her because she can't see, she says. Well, this makes a big difference. This is not gonna stay on. This is gonna come off because this guy, it's pretty stupid. If you hit your brakes real hard, this thing's gonna flip up. So these really do nothing. So that's coming off. Um, okay, let me do some more checking here. Uh, the back ones are working. Let's see something here. Got a couple speakers way back in there. Let's check the passenger side. I was kind of looking at this. There's a clean spot where the front of the vet used to be. Here's where the tire was. Here's where the front bumper came around. <laughs> Here's where the other tire was. That's uh, pretty funny. So. These ones are working. So it sounds better than crackling, you know. All right, let me see what's going on with them. Uh, I don't see any cracks. I don't see any cracks. Usually they're cracked is why they start doing that. So I don't know, this is Pioneer. Dual tone. Uh, okay. Let me do some more looking. I'm gonna pull that other one out. We'll see what's going on with it. Okay, so I got these out. Like I said, this is dual cone. Uh, the Pioneer. This is not original because it's got a price tag. But if you guys, I don't know if you can see that right there. What that says. I've seen it somewhere else on here too. Right up in that corner. Anyway. And right in the dead center. There you can see it bows. Which is good. I like bows. They sound really good. But. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, putting aftermarket stuff in. Hopefully it didn't sound like that when he put it in there, because I'd be mad. 
get twenty five dollars or something sounds like crap. So I'm not sure. It says it all the way around their bows. So I'm not sure. I don't see any rips. Usually when they're crackling like that. Oh, okay. I see right there. See that peeling up? See that? That's what's going on. Usually they rip right in here. Whoops, right in here. They'll rip around there and you'll get that sound. Now, when that happens, you can buy a foam and re glue. You peel all that stuff off there. You can get off there and you re glue it on there. So that's what's going on there. I think I can glue this. I'm going to try to fix this. I'm still not sure what's going on with this one. If it's the same way, it doesn't feel loose up there. But, because I have, see the way that plate looked, it looked like it was a six by nine because I've got, I've got this. Of course, that's not going to fit <laughs> without some modification. I really don't want to start cutting on that thing. You know what I mean? Because you can buy these you can buy these cheaper than 25 bucks um maybe not the bows but you can buy decent speakers so i don't even know what what this is or you know like this one this one here will tell you it's 40 watts 40 watt max so four ohm so i don't know what this is but i'm gonna try like sometimes you'll get a little rip right in here. You can put a little dab of super glue or what I've used before too is um, clear fingernail polish or black fingernail polish. It works for a while. It's not a permanent fix, but. So let me see if I got some glue. Yeah, that's what it's doing, it's rattling right there. So let me see if I got some glue to glue that down with. And then we'll let it set up. And then we'll try that. I'm not still not sure what's going on with this thing. Maybe right in there. I don't know. This is more like a tweeter. So, all right. I'm on the hunt for some glue. So I wanted to explain something real quick. For those of you guys that don't know what bridged is. Okay. So what it does is you got to plus and minus on these things. Uh, usually you'll just take your speaker you plug your wires in there you plug your wires in there whatever when they're bridged what it is like this one's minus it will go here and what it does is it'll come in here work this speaker come out of here go back into here and then works the speaker and comes out and then comes down this and goes wherever you got it hooked up at instead of just going directly to it it's bridged you know what I mean so that's because you know you're using this this is your bridge it bridges the two together okay I found some of this stuff super glue like I said it'll work this is the just super glue gel I think came from Dollar Tree or one of them places you're supposed to just be able to screw this on here but you gotta be careful when you're doing this because it could squirt out all over you and then when your fingers get stuck together let me try to get a pin or something to poke that okay it says to point it away from you and screw this all the way on To puncture the tube. It did, it punctured it. Alright, now I'm just gonna go around here. Like I said, it's not working now, so why not try it, right? My glasses are falling off of me. Oh Jesus. See who this is. Hello? Hello? No, it's not Mr. Bench. I wish you'd quit calling here. 
No, it's not the first time this number has come up on my phone. No, it's not. Don't argue with me, you piece of shit asshole. <laughs> that's funny. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. See how they talk to you guys? You're being recorded. Oh, so he didn't like that. First time they call. First time I've called you. Maybe you, but the numbers come up. They just called me a little bit ago. Then they laugh and think it's funny. So that's how you can tell it's a scam. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I tried to put the phone up by the mic. I still don't not sure what's wrong with the other speaker. Why it's crackling? I may not. Just, I just may not even you know hook that up. So now I'm gonna just gonna push this down here. Get that wrinkle out of it. And I'm going to push this down and try to hold it until it uh, until it sets up and I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, so what I did, I checked this speaker. This speaker's not cracking. Let's turn this on. was not cracked. So, this one I believe set up, but Monkey just pulled in from the store, and I'm going to go help her out. Pause. And I'm going to go help her out, and I'll be back with you guys. Hang tight. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got to hurry. It's going to storm. So, I'm going to put these screws back in here. This has been cut out for this tweeter. So. Sounded good other than the crackling noise it was making. Of course, like I said, this is probably not going to be long term because oh, I'll be putting new stuff in it uh. trying to keep my bald head out of your way They did something like that, didn't they? Yeah, that's the way it was. Sometimes if these come loose, if you don't tighten your screws all the way or you got a wire back there uh, that's kind of loose, sometimes they'll rattle like that. And this screw, it's all rusted. Now let's get this in here. Okay, I'm trying to find the other one. Where'd it go? It's really short. Get this one hooked up, the long one. Now the short one. I call it short because it doesn't come out real far. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have 
get a pair of needle nose. Ouch. Thought I had some in here. Alright, I'll be right back with you. Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. Let's see if that worked. Work. That's cool. Of course, that's not a full blast, but. Oh yeah, that's better. It worked. Cool. Alright, well we got that fixed temporarily. Alright, it's starting to rain now. So let me get the windows up on this thing. storm right side left side all right so I'm just gonna put this stuff in here for now because it's going to rain and I don't want all this stuff getting wet okay well all right let's let's go ahead and start it up Okay, we're done for now at least. All right, I gotta get, I gotta get this door closed. <laughs> Get the other door closed. <laughs> oh, can't wait till I'm done messing around with this thing so we can get it all looking good and back together the way it should be. All right, there you go, guys. I don't know if you can see or not, but <laughs> I'm a camera upside down. There we go. It is raining. I'm heading in the house. So. Oops. Whew. A lot cooler in here, that's for sure. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. We got that fixed. And, yeah, there was something I was going to tell you guys. Can't remember what it was, but I'm sure my haters will remind me in the comments. <laughs> uh, can't remember what it was now. So, anyway. Oh. Hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it, guys. I appreciate it a lot. So, thumbs up to you guys. Um, my channel wouldn't be my channel without you. I mean, I'd still be doing my stuff, but I wouldn't film it. You guys inspire me. In fact, I do other things that I normally wouldn't do just so I can make a video for you guys that may be entertaining or educational or whatever. So, again, thanks, guys. Big thumbs up to you. And I uh, hope you all have a safe and happy weekend. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for following me along on this journey on the Corvette. We still got a lot to do. Uh, down to nitpicking stuff now. Uh, the engine is running good at over 3,000 RPMs. About 2,500. Kind of bup, 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 bup. Um, but that's because it was tuned up for that supercharger. We don't, we're not we're no longer running at that the, the smoke you see there's black smoke it's fuel so later on I'll I will just get a uh, computer and put in it and we'll be done with it so but I mean it is drivable if we had tires so the rest of the stuff's just nitpicking stuff like the stereo and stuff like that so anyway guys thanks for watching again I appreciate it thumbs up to you 
We'll see you next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.